Although zooming in and out on the worksheet can help you get your bearings, it can't bring together two separate sections so that you can compare their data on the screen. To manage this, split the worksheet area into separate panes and then scroll the worksheet in each pane so that they display the parts you want to compare. Splitting the window is easy. To split a worksheet into panes, you simply position the cell pointer at the place in the worksheet where you want to split the worksheet and then click the Split button on the Ribbons View tab. The key to creating the pane you want with the Split button is positioning the pointer in the correct cell before you click this Command button. To split the window into horizontal panes, position the cell pointer in column A of the row where you want to split the worksheet. To split the window into two vertical panes, position the cell pointer in row 1 of the column where you want to split the worksheet. To split the window into four panes, two horizontal and two vertical, position the cell pointer somewhere in the center of the worksheet. Excel splits the page along the top and left edge of the cell. After you split the worksheet window, Excel displays a thin, light gray bar along the row or column where the window split occurs. If you position the mouse or touch pointer anywhere on the split bar, the pointer changes from a white cross to a split pointer shape. You can increase or decrease the size of the current window panes by dragging the split bar up or down or left or right with a split pointer. You can make the panes in a workbook window disappear by double-clicking anywhere on the split bar. You can do the same thing by selecting View and Split again.